it's our 10th anniversary and uh, just keeps getting better. We've developed an enormous awareness for our uh, organization. We're supporting over 400 schools at this point with several hundred on the wait list and there's so much more to go. Well, Melissa McCarthy is getting the Robin Williams Legacy of Laughter Award and I just more and more I think Dots. Are you kidding me? Sorry, I just oh, rudely man. interrupted right. Glenn Close. This is not okay. I'll be removed soon. <laughs> uh, my name is Eric Bergen. Some of you may know me. I, I played uh, a Blake on the recently canceled television show, Madam Secretary. Uh, some of you may know me uh, uh, from a little show called Jersey Boys, which I actually got to. Uh, oh, oh, thanks, thanks, Mom. Which I got to. Um, which I got to originate here, actually in San Francisco. The lineup tonight, you have, you have like, you have Andy Grammer, whose songs you can't get away from, Jay Farrow, who's brilliant, my brother from another mother, Scott Nevins, who I've known for too long to even mention as the auctioneer, of course, Glenn, uh, some guy named Eric Bergen is the host, who I hear, uh, and Alanis Morissette, who is uh, responsible for saving a lot of lives through her music. I think you should know you saved my life Oh, 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 oh. I think you should know that I was Man, it is incredible to be here. I love, this topic has become really, really close to my heart. During the pandemic, I struggled pretty good with some depression. And uh, so it's been something that I've really wanted to speak out against and, and to break the stigma. And that's what the whole thing is about. So I'm honored to be here. Good evening. My name is April Smith, and we are part of Bring Change to Mind because we don't want anyone to feel alone or that they cannot reach out for help. So in that spirit, please take out your phone and find your flashlight. Turn on your flashlight and hold up your phone if you have lost someone you love to mental illness. Overall, Bring Change to Mind has motivated me to become a better mental health advocate from inspiring me to pursue a career in the field of mental health to starting my own mental health education podcast called Let's Talk Mental Health. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so excited to see what changes Bring Change to Mind will bring, not only in my life, but also in the lives of many others. Thank you all so much for listening to me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. What's going on with y'all, San Francisco? How y'all feeling, man? Man. This is very important. Before I even started, y'all give it up for mental health. Like, you know what I mean? And the awareness of it. Saving lives out there. I'm grateful most of all and moved to my core by the members of our Bring Change to Mind high school clubs. These kids are changing their families and schools and communities with their courage, audacity, and compassion. And I just want to simply say thank you and I dedicate tonight to them. Thank you. Come on, cheer yes! 125, thank you, $10,000. Can we get to 11? It is my third year doing this. I've done one in San Francisco, one in New York, and now we're back here, and I am definitely going to pit the cities against each other to raise more money in San Francisco than New York did. This organization is very important to me. I believe in what they do. My brother is bipolar, manic depressive, and growing up in a household where we didn't talk about it, I know how dangerous that is to not have the conversations, to allow stigma to thrive. For her legacy as a humanitarian and her legacy of laughter, please join us in congratulating Melissa McCarthy, the sixth annual Robin Williams Legacy of Laughter Award recipient. Listening to so many people break the silence and speak the truth is beyond inspiring. It is motivating, and more importantly, it's activating, and the needle is moving. I don't know that I can really put in words what it means to be put into the same hemisphere as Robin Williams. Um, his humor made this very rural far Illinois farm girl uh, feel like it was okay to be different and to be silly, and the power of how he made people laugh has had such a meaningful effect on the whole world. And thanks for doing everything that you do. Peace out, thank you. Thank you. 
recommend walking around naked in your living room. Yeah. Swallow you down. What a jagged little 